In this video, we're going to be talking about word wars. Every single day we have conversations, if not with other people, at least with ourselves. Maybe you don't talk to yourself, but I do. But anyway, we have conversations every single day and sometime when we're not careful, the very words that we use, they diminish the very thing that we're trying to build up because we're not aware of what we're saying, but more importantly, we're not aware of what we say, what it's going to produce. Because so often when somebody is doing something different or contrary to what we do or what we believe, we might get frustrated or, or, or irritated. And sometimes we might say things as a result of our frustration, not really understanding what it's going to lead to. And I'm sure that you've heard sometime when we talk about other people, we don't define them. We define ourselves because the very things that we speak out of our mouths is a representation of what's in our hearts. And sometimes when we hear our words, we have to understand and evaluate that, hey, maybe I need to clean out something in my heart. And when we're not careful, the very things that we say, they produce certain things in our lives that we don't typically want. And no matter what your belief is, there's universal principles that, that work all the time. And there's something called the Shana It means the gossiping tongue. And typically, whenever somebody talks about somebody else, and Lashana Ra occurs, it causes that person who was gossiping about somebody else to be held back from whatever they're doing in life for seven days. But here's the problem. Most people live their lives in that state because they're not really aware of what it produces. But I want to encourage you, anytime you say anything, anytime you get frustrated, evaluate yourself, evaluate everything that's going to come out of your mouth because words that you might speak about somebody else is not worth you being held back from your success. But also in the same regard, we have to even be careful of the things that we say to ourselves because the ancient book of wisdom says, as a man thinketh, so is he. And a lot of times the very things that we say, it's a representation of what we think, but it's also a programming of what we think. So we have to be very conscious of building ourselves up and not tearing ourselves down. So not calling ourselves stupid, mess up, and sometimes even labeling, you know, I'm this or I'm that, especially if it's not positive. Now, if you're talking about empowering, you know, I'm a successful person, I'm a positive person, I am a lead, those kind of things are fine. But when you put negative labels on yourself, it's almost as if you're creating a self-fulfilling prophecy that you're going to cause to come to pass because the very thing that you say, your mind looks for those things and it seeks them out to make that opportunity a reality for you. So I want to encourage you to make sure you evaluate everything that you say and make sure you're using things to build you up and not tear yourself down. But also, whenever you get frustrated with somebody, the best thing to do is just be quiet because whatever you say to them, it's not worth you being in a state of, that's going to cause you to not experience the very thing that you want in life because most of the time, they're not worth it. This has been Chris Cannon, your encouragement coach, reminding you that the battle is not lost unless you accept defeat.